Hi Scorpio, how's it going? And welcome to your mid-July general reading. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Scorpio, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Scorpio, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Scorpio, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves. Scorpio, let's get right into this. Again, this is your mid-July general reading. We're doing a Celtic cross today. And don't forget, um, this is general, so please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Whoa. We'll take one more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Scorpio? Again, for mid-July. All right, love, you'll have the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be dealing with an air, uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving on, uh, moving to more solid ground. Um, in a situation where it's been uh, really dramatic, like high highs, low lows, that kind of thing, things are going to start feeling more steady with wherever you're at right now. Um, Emperor, Page of Pentacles. I feel like there's some kind of offer coming from a very mature masculine type energy that's helping you with this. Some of you could be planning um, to go see a masculine, to go see, um, you know, a partner or a father figure. Overall, mental health is majorly improved in the Six of Swords, so very good. Your current energy right now, Nine of Wands, very wounded warrior. You could be dealing with a fire sign. King of Pentacles. You're up to here with something. King of Pentacles, you're up to here with where you are at work, with your career. Um, some, some of y'all are saying, I'm so tired of just caring so much. What's crossing you? Ooh, the devil and the wheel of fortune. So how are you going to spend this queen of wands? Some of you are dealing with the Capricorn here, but this is karma right here. Devil with the wheel of fortune. Some of you, this is like, I know I need to move on from a situation. Nine of wands, like you're really tired or up to here with your job, with a connection, with something going on with you. Okay, this is general. But what's crossing that is a refusal to move on at the same time. Devil, Wheel of Fortune. It's like, I know I need to wrap up this chapter and move on, uh, but sometimes I kind of like it here. Like there's some kind of um, temptation that kind of is holding you back from the next chapter. What is your focus? Um, a connection, uh, maybe a soulmate connection. Six of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, Three of Wands. Some of you are waiting for something sweet, a connection. Six of Cups, it is something from the past, so it could be a reunion for some of you. Some of you might be focusing on, you know, maybe wanting to plan to have kids or a family, but, you know, with this energy, you're like, but I don't want to quit smoking or I'm not ready to quit drinking yet or that kind of energy. There's something great, something sweet, something beautiful that you're focused on, but it's like I also, it feels to you like there's a little bit of sacrifice involved with whatever it is that you want. What's been in the recent past for Scorpio? Five of Swords, conflict. Um, here, there's no one else here, so Hierophant. Um, kind of withdrawing from a commitment withdrawing from a certain type of belief system from some of you you've you've been isolated you're isolating yourself five of swords you have felt very in con conflict with yourself about kind of what you believe in do i believe in this or not do i really want to invest in that or not do i believe in them or not do i believe in us or not what's crowning scorpio 
the Queen of Swords, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, and the Feminine, and the Seven of Cups. So this is about having conversation. The Queen of Swords, she like, hey, let's talk. Sometimes it's conflict resolution with the Queen of Swords. It can be those tough talks, but once we communicate and talk through things, it always feels better. So I feel for some of you, because in this Queen of Swords, there's the lovers out there. Um, you know, you could be feeling like, Something that you want is is out of reach. Someone that you want might be with someone else or something like that. Um, and so therefore, with that assumption energy, you're just kind of staying in maybe, uh, you know, another situation for now. What's in the near future for you? Ooh, the world card, okay? So closing down whatever this chapter is for you, nine of wands, like I said, you're at the end of something and here is the true ending. A cycle will be closing in the near future. So a whole new, um, I heard portal, but a whole new world will be opening up for you. Um, Knight of Cups, this is your energy, Scorpio. Um, I'm really being on a new emotional journey here. You could also be expressing, this is the Knight of Cups expresses how he or she feels, okay? So this new energy and this new world that you're in um, is very lovey-dovey. It's very much, and it doesn't have to be romantic, but it can be where you and, you know, your friends or you and someone are just like, I really love you and I really appreciate you. And it's really just cheerleader, uplifting, like proposal type energy here. It feels really, really good. It feels like we're coming out of fear-based and going into the light, going into love, okay? What is your power? Three of pentacles to build or rebuild your team, your tribe, or your situation. To build or rebuild your team, tribe, or situation. But the queen of cups is probably a relationship for a lot of you or some type of connection that you have with somebody that you want to, I want to fix it. Three of pentacles. In this deck, it's a little disorganized here, but queen of cups, you can fix it with your queen of cups, with your heart, with your emotions, with what you say, with being vulnerable. Okay. What's hidden from you is the Ace of Swords so uh, and the Hierophant. So someone wants to express, this is an expression card. Someone sees the real truth here. This is like a big yes card for me. Star, I was like, what is with that star card? Something's meant to be. Someone's really seeing the light here in a situation. Hierophant. Someone knows um, that they want to commit to you. Someone knows that they want to, or will be learning, Ace of Swords will be ding, 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 Hierophant about you. They'll be understanding, hey, Scorpio is what I want to invest in. This is something great I want to be a part of. Scorpio's hopes and fears. Ugh, Queen of Cups um, and the Queen of Wands. hoping for a relationship, hoping to deep the connection, but maybe also fearing that at the same time. What's the outcome for Scorpio? <laughs> He's back out. There's the proposal. There's the Knight of Cups. So this is the outcome is, you know, you saying how you feel, really getting into the nitty gritty of something, okay? Yeah, we have the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. This is major proposal energy, but like for some of you, this is me when someone have been through a rough patch and it's like, you know what? I'm not saying you and this person are gonna like proposal, like get engaged or anything like that, maybe for a small group, but this is like, you're in it now. You and someone are in it now. Hierophant, woo, king of wands, nine of swords, queen of wands. That is a, woo, the sun card there, the ten of pentacles, holy shit. The king and queen of wands are twin flame energies to me. Um, with the nine of swords, someone's like, I don't know, kind of stressing about that connection. But with the Hierophant here, this is, it's a marriage card. It's also what you believe in. It's a high level of commitment, okay? I feel like you do want to build this and you have every ability to do so. You have the resources, you have the time, 
okay? Three of Pentacles to either fix this, work on this, or want to be in this. There is a major truth and conversation coming up um, in regards to deepening a connection or going next level um, with somebody here, okay? That could be even like you and your mom or you and your dad, like, hey, I never knew that you went through that. Thank you for telling me that. Now I understand you better. You and your friend going through, you know, having an evening of, man, I never, I never know, knew that about you. Man, now that I know this, we're deeper and we're closer bonded now. We're closer together. You and someone, I feel like have been a little hot and cold, a little, little spicy with each other. This person, the, the focus here, it's got to be about a person for most of you here. Um, if not a specific person, it's about something going on in your past, like in your childhood. But your focus is Six of Cups. Um, sweet, unconditional, soulmate love and connection. And um, for some of you, I feel like you have that or have the potential to build on that with some with someone or in a situation. But there's also a big part of you that wants to just like, you know, devil this out. Like, I'm just going to avoid this. I'm going to go have my fun. I'm just going to do what I want to do. And there's no right or wrong in whatever I'm telling you. You do what you want to do. But you're also nine of wands right now. You're not really happy with where you're at right now at the same time. All right, Scorpio, let's look at, um, let's go deeper here at this nine of wands. I've already pre-shuffled and cut this for you. You have the devil at the bottom of the deck. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with a Capricorn. Three of pentacles, five of cups double double here i feel like you're just as tempted by this situation or person as they are by you what's this nine of wands you're very like wounded warrior yeah perfect perfect we got the ten of wands like you're just like you know what i don't want to fight anymore i don't want to tower yeah, this is you going, if, if, if talking to you, if dealing with this, if that journey over there brings me grief, brings me strife, brings me garbage, I don't want to do it. You're, some of you I'm just hearing, put my hands in the air. What's this nine of wands for Scorpio? But like the hard part's over now, okay? Ooh, you got your confidence back. You got your mojo back. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, and the King of Wands. Lots of fire here. Uh, major Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, but lots of masculine energy here. Um, you are undergoing a lot of healing and in the right time, in divine timing, King of Wands, male or female here, you will be kind of taking your power back. King of Wands, like, boom, puts his foot down, like, stamps that wand in the ground and is like, you know, hear me roar. You know what I mean? I don't care what anyone thinks. I'm just going to do this. What's the, what's this final chapter here? Six of wands and the ace of cups, high priestess. And what are you going to do with the king of wands? You're going to offer your cup. So yeah, I feel for a lot of you, you've been, um, there's something about a situation that you're in right now, Scorpio, where you you feel like you're doing all the work. I'm giving it all. It feels almost very one-sided and as soon as you release all of that boom I, I feel like you get your healing you get some rest and then you actually regain your confidence here let's see why you're crossing energy why you keep kind of falling back into this uh devil energy there's nothing wrong with that i'm not here to make your choices or decisions for you or to judge you ever for a second i'm also a human being myself but also uh, there seems to be a great new chapter coming but something's holding you up here what's with this devil It's the Queen of Cups. It's a relationship. It's a connection that you have with someone. Five of Swords. Or you're fighting some deepening a connection within yourself. No. You're fighting a, a connection with somebody. You're pushing it away. Yep. Five of Wands. Strength card. Why is the Devil crossing you? Eight of Pentacles. Page of Cups. Oh, some of you, you're like, I want the younger thing. I want the younger, hotter thing. I want, like, maybe you're with someone and you've been in a connection for a while. 
but you want Page of Cups, but I want something fresh. <laughs> Queen, on this uh, Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Wands. So now we have the Twin Flame officially there. So I feel like, again, the Wheel of Fortune is about getting to the next chapter, spinning that wheel and getting to the next thing. Well, we have to take action. We have the King and Queen. So there seems like there seems to be a Twin Flame or Divine Counterpart type situation trying to come together. But what kind of keeps holding you up from either doing this or li aligning with this, if that's what you want, is... A, you're not sure how you feel about the situation and you're also, you always think that you can do better, right? There's an energy of like, hey, this person's great or this situation's great. This kind of came up in the Libra reading a little bit. We're like, is the, but the grass could always be greener. There could always be someone newer, hotter, fresher that could come in. Hey, I love my job, but like, I'm always looking at, you know, other jobs. It feels like when is enough going to be enough? Why is the focus the Six of Cups, soulmate connection, past life connection? Why is that the focus here? Yeah, you're you're learning about this. Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Either someone's already offered this connection to you or you've offered it to them. This is everything to you. Ten of Pentacles, this connection, this person, that Five of Swords, Five of Swords that you keep kind of getting in your head about, having conflict about, does it make me feel good? Does it not? I'm not really sure. There's a lot of conflict around this, but at the end of the day, Six of Cups, this is like home energy. This is legacy energy. This is, this is what you're trying to do right now, build. The, the legacy is right there. The person, the connection, the offer, the offer, Page of Pentacles is right there. You and this person or you and whoever this is, this group of people, eight of wands, you're in open communication. Y'all bounce and talk back and forth all the time, okay? I feel like this person or you has offered something and then what's the offer about? Uh, oh, ace of cups. Yeah, this person loves you unconditionally and wants to offer you a hand in business, a hand in working with you and family, um, like being a part of your family. Yeah, this is very good. Your focus is to make some kind of connection really work and last, Ten of Pentacles, last for the long haul. How do I build my legacy with this person? How do I build my legacy in this situation? The offer's already been made. Um, what's the Five of Swords about in the recent past? Mm, y'all, y'all. We have the, the Knight of Wands, the Six of Cups, and we have the High Priestess. So I feel for some of you, it's like, yeah, there's something I wanna work on. There's like, for some of you, it's like, yeah, I wanna be at home with my kids and I wanna do that, but I also wanna go out and have fun, have a drink. Like, I feel like you're trying to make the best of both worlds. There's, there's a sweet either Six of Cups, you and your your uh, parent-child connection or a very sweet um, connection that you're in or a part of, it, it, it seems to be inconsistent also. Knight of Wands, it's hot and it's cold. We're, we're passionate and we talk and we're together and then High Priestess is a non-communication card and then we're silent. There has been some type of new activity around this in the recent past, Ace of Wands. What's this Queen of Swords for Scorpio, please? Why is this crowning you? This is like you thinking about what do I say? How do I make the best of both worlds work here? Tower. Woo! Tower, you know that whatever you're gonna say or the conversation, it's gonna cause, woo, a disruption. It's gonna cause a disruption. Not, wow. Wow, it's gonna change everything. There's your nine of wands in the world card yet again, and the page of wands, wheel of fortune, Hierophant. 
What is the tower? Knight of Pentacles and the Devil. Whatever it is that you're going to say, communicate, it will be explosive. It will change the traje trajectory, oh, I'm stumbling on that, on this entire situation. By you saying, I'm done, or we need to talk about this, or like whatever, you are, by your words, Queen of Swords, you are closing a cycle, closing a chapter, and the new cycle, the new chapter is this Page of Wands on taking a chance, taking a risk. It's taking a chance on a person or on a situation where you have been hurt before. I'm hearing scarred before. All right, what is the world card in the near future? Is this a cycle closed and a cycle opening, okay? What's this world card? So six of pentacles, two of swords, ace of wands, ace of cups here, okay? So again, there might be, for some of you, what's the six of pentacles? Yeah, moon card. There was some kind of hidden, um, maybe third party stuff going on in the past. I am picking that up while maybe you were, were kind of off and on with someone or someone was maybe off and on with you is there was maybe a third party you might have been giving to two people or someone you were with was giving to to you know to you and somebody else um but that's all coming to an end and the new beginning is this again ace of wands page of wands it's like bigger the risk bigger the reward i don't really know where this is going but i'm going to try something different i'm going to take action here instead of just being all in my head and confused page of wands ace of wands this is taking action over whatever it is that you're indecisive about. What's this three of pentacles? This is your power. It's to invest. Ace of pentacles, three of swords, seven of swords. That's the 10 of swords right there, full card. Your power is to literally stop lying about how much pain that you're in. A lot of you are like going through a heartbreak or you've been holding on to pain for such a long time and you're like literally lying about it. You're you're pre like lying about it saying like you you're pretending you're okay when you're not. An energy like that. So your power here is to open up Ace of Pentacles to invest in healing this for once and for all what is that about wheel of fortune we see a king and a queen at the top and then someone being kicked to the curb so for some of you you know there could have been some options between people here and you're doing what's best for you but there's definitely karma karma is majorly at play here What's this Ace of Swords? What's this truth hidden from you? <gasps> That's the Knight of Cups too. Someone has the same feelings for you here. Okay. And again, when I say feelings, it could be like you and a friend feel the same way and you're not sure. You and a boss, you and a coworker, you and anybody. Okay. Um, when y'all come for me and you're like, but I'm single, I don't have any love in my life. Well, maybe when you bitch and complain about that, that's maybe the fucking reason why. Get off my channel then. Um, Queen of Swords, Knight of Cups, Six of Wands. This is a very successful person um, in how they speak. This is like a speaker. I see someone on a, on a, on a platform. I'm actually seeing like someone on the news, like maybe a reporter or something like that. Someone who speaks very well, da, 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 da. queen of swords could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but their truth is, look at this, regardless of if they're an air sign or not, this person is very, very open, honest, and wears their heart on their sleeve. Knight of cups, six of wands. This person wants to be emotionally vulnerable with you. And that's going to be a victory for them. When this person opens up, 
and says what they need to say, Knight of Pentacles, it's going to open up a path of the long haul here. It's going to open up like this person is like, I love you. I want to, I want to grow with you. I see you. I understand you. Like, let's do this. And when they open up and like say all those things to you, I feel like six of wands, you're just like, yes. What's this queen of cups for, for you? Why is this in your hopes and fears? Queen of cups, three of cups, <laughs> strength card. Because some of you, maybe if you're like thinking about being in a relationship or something like that, again, three of cups, you're like, well, I would have to choose someone. Yeah, seven of cups and then justice, judgment. So this is about making like a, a, a decision about reuniting with someone in a real deep way or kind of keeping the scales out of balance here in this deck the scales are out of balance next to the seven of cups so the more that you keep exploring kind of options here with other people something like that there's nothing wrong with that but there seems to be something about that keeps your scales out of balance what is the seven of cups and the out of balance scales about that's what you keep enduring you're not seeing something all the way through as soon as something gets tough, you either give up or the other person gives up. The other side, the other team, the other thing, whatever that is for you. I go, what's the solution? What's the answer? Ace of Cups, love wins. Um, let's look at the Prince of Cups and the outcome. This is very romantic Prince. We love him. He's very sweet, very... Oh, and that's you. Look, there's the scorpion right there for Scorpio. All right. What's your Prince of Cups about outcome? You expressing yourself. Devil. Devil out again, five of swords, queen of pentacles. What is that devil here? Please clarify the devil. All right, we have the nine of pentacles and we have the lover's card here. Okay, so for a lot of you, it does seem like you are really just going to focus on queen of pentacles, nine of pentacles, your career, your money, your stability right now. Um, yeah, that's what your passion is right now. Like Knight of Cups, that's what your true love is right now. Your money, your career. Um, we have the Lovers, the Knight of Swords, and the Four of Cups here. I do feel like there is a difficult exit coming up for you or somebody where you're going to be missing someone or they're going to be missing you. I do feel a little bit of a split or break off. Um, in a way so that you can focus on, again, your career, money, something like that. Um, the reason why the devil kept showing up so much um, for some of you is because that's like your main focus. Like you, you're all about the money right now or you're all about... Nine of Pentacles is also single, ready to mingle. Like you're like, I, I don't ever want to be in a relationship. I only want to be single. I only want to, you know, date people or that kind of thing. But like, that's it. And there's no right or wrong there because your focus is really about Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, starting your own business, being your own self, being financially independent, being financially free. Yeah, Five of Swords, you're like, I don't care who the fuck I hurt, I'm doing me. <laughs> that's your reading, Scorpio. Um, uh, for those of you that want to do the love reading, that's the first link in the description box below. And the Scorpio that won the pick a card this time is Jennifer Mitchell. Jennifer, you are my winner. So Scorpio, if you want me to pick your card next time, just make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time I might pick you. I love y'all so much and I'll catch you next time. All right, Jennifer, this is for you, my love. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Jennifer Mitchell? All 
Okay, Eight of Cups, love. So this is uh, Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, you feel like you're on the move or you're about to be on the move where um, it kind of, this one kind of hurts. Eight of Cups is where you're moving on from something that kind of could have been um, really great, but you're like, no, I'm just going to walk away. You have the King of Pentacles here, Masculine, Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. What do we have for Jennifer? Two of Swords, Five of Swords, Sun card. Seven of Cups, yeah, Nine of Pentacles. You're very like single ready to mingle. Maybe you work for yourself. You're definitely seem like a very independent person, um, especially financially. There's something about, should I stay in this stable energy? So I, should I stay in this job? Should I stay in this whatever that keeps you very stable? Or do something that makes you really happy, explore some kind of options that would um, sun card, make you feel really, really happy. But to get there, it's like there, there will be conflict that will arise, okay? So you may be detaching from something might cause conflict so that you can go explore some options. Uh, what's this King of Pentacles for Jennifer, please? Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this seems like a... Something that's been going on for a while. Either a connection, High Priestess, Moon card, a deep, yeah, a deep connection that you've had with someone. A business partnership. Um, whatever it's on. It even feels like it could be like a mother or father figure. Um, that's like always looked after you. Have been around for a long time to take care of you. You've had a lot of care, nurturing, and longevity in something or a connection that you've been in. On your two of swords, a decision you're making, nine of cups, do you free yourself or nine of wands, ace of cups, queen of wands? Devil lovers, oh my God. I was like, what's with this Ace of Cups, Devil lover, Lovers? This is a, um, that's a divine counterpart, maybe a twin flame situation. You're you're having a hard time understanding either the terms or the way that a connection is going. A part of you wants to completely open up and jump in and it feels like everything you want, but also a part of this terrifies you and feels like you want to run for the hills. What's this Five of Swords for Jennifer? Five of Cups, Crying, Sadness, Disappointment, Emperor, Page of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, King of Wands. I almost feel like you have a very protective father type figure in your life or a masculine. And I almost am like seeing... It's almost like this person, this father, a brother, a uncle, or a masculine energy is cock blocking another connection that you're in or, or trying to get, get to. It's almost like you know, like telling dad, hey, I, I'm in love with this person or I'm doing this. You know it's going to make, let's say dad per se, it's going to make dad very upset. He's either scared to lose his baby girl or he doesn't like the dude. King of Wands. We got to watch out for the King of Wands. Um, he doesn't like this. He did, someone doesn't like someone that you're with. A family member, someone who you've known for a long time, you've built very, very solid ground with someone, um, doesn't really like. Because you see, you're seeing something with rose-colored glasses. You're like, yeah, I'm not saying you're wrong, but like, It's like you're gonna hurt this masculine's feelings by choosing this other thing. What's the sun card here?
Wow, not what I was expecting at all. Seven of Wands, Ten of Swords, Hermit, Queen of Wands. When you release and let go of this fight, what are you so defensive about? Page of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. There's something that you're fighting here about this connection or about the situation. And as soon as you stop fighting it, it all works out. What's this Seven of Cups? What are these options? Yeah, you're a little bit like, it's like you have... I'm hearing like almost social anxiety. It's like, I want to go do this and I want to go meet people and I want to go try new things. But also with the Eight of Swords, it's like you kind of work yourself up about your options here. Page of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. There is an offer around a love or a relationship coming in. Um, that Two of Pentacles, you're still not really sure about. Um, do you want to... I feel like you're in such a great place and you're someone wants to be like page of pentacles queen of cups someone's offering you a relationship or hey let's start to date or let's start to work together in some kind of way but your own fears from the past have you a little bit blocked in that area so that's why you're still kind of i don't really know all right love that's your reading if there's anyone else still here i love y'all i'll catch you in the love reading or next time bye